with 21 seconds to go in the football game. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down.
EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. this one teed up and we are underway here at AT&T Stadium. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. starts with a carry by Dillon and he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Rogers throw finds its target, Dobbs. Six yards to pick up and that's a first down. Now Rodgers. That's Tunyon bringing in the quick throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And good work there in open space. So he's got this all the way down now to the 32. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people. Touchdown! Allen Lazard, 32 yards. And the Packers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. 
He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, Packer pressure, and down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott from the gun. Dancing to his left. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 15-0 our score. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Running wide side, Elliott. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to make it fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. There you go. Now Prescott on fourth down. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk. 17 yards there on fourth down. Up the middle, here's Hallian. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough get, 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 run because he only get, get, picked get. up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he will have the Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first and ten, Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! What is They'll throw again. Prescott. Open man is Noah Brown. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing. Prescott. Now, a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. They play faked Elliott. Now Prescott. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this is caught. It's Brown. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 22-yard line. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. A first down carry by Elliott. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the 16, Prescott throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. This is caught, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Noah Brown, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Mara, up and good. And this is back to an eight-point game. Following the touchdown, here's Mara to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. On play action, it's Rodgers. Buying time to his left. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown, and the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 41. Well, Charles, you got a quarterback out of the pocket trying to make a play, and you get it, but instead he ends up throwing it to the other team. 
And partners, we know to be successful in this league, number one, you're going to have to be able to make plays on the perimeter or when the pocket breaks down. But number two, you've got to make smart decisions with the football. And that time, that simply was not a smart decision. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, Prescott being chased out left. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It'll be a gain of five, and now we've got a third and three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Prescott to throw on fourth. This will be caught by Brown. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 18 yards on the pickup there. And that leads to a Dallas first down. Elliott running right. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Steps away to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's got his man, Schultz, coming across the formation. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. 26. 
Off the play fake, Prescott. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And the Packers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that will bring up second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's complete to Dobbs. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Oh, well, they'll try to jet sweep here with Lazard. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. From the 35 on second down, Prescott. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Prescott. And he's 
Got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw, Prescott. Rolling to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Well, I think we're both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Rolling to his right. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, this game has not been short on intrigue, but that's the backbreaker right there, and it's going to put any hope of victory to bed. Yeah, they knew they needed the touchdown, and when you have that little time remaining, they know they've got no choice except to go for broke, and that they did. But the interception, that means defeat. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Rodgers throwing here. Looking for Tunyon on the crosser, and he's got it complete. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Back to throw, Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that will just about put a capper on this game. And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining. Boy, it, oh, they pitched to the tight end. It's a fake. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. And the Cowboys are able to recover. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. One last shot now for Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup, and that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They finished the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.
EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Las Vegas Raiders. take it out of the end zone and a nice job there on special teams to limit him the inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs out to his left got a man open it's Darren Waller and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A very solid gain of 27. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. After all that, they only wind up with a yard. It's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. That's caught by Waller out left side. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up 32. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Stiff on him, dude. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Not only is the slam route really difficult to cover, it's a real staple play for an offense on a fourth down because it's a quick hitting play. Get the ball out of the hands of the quarterback right to the receiver. And the receiver has to be ready because that thing's coming on a rope. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Carr going to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now, that was a designed run. Now, remember, if a quarterback goes feet first, he's protected. But if he dives head first, he's not. On that play, he figured the risk was worth the reward. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Berryman. And the Raiders are going to get the football here at their own 23. On the ground, it's Jenkins to start the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. No score after one on EA Sports. Now. 
play action. It's Carr. Gets this to Waller on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Steps away. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now a play fake. Carr. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep and you catch him close to the spot. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. going to signal for a timeout. Just their first in this half. We'll step aside and come right back. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Throw right side into the hands of Foster Moreau. And he is going to have a Raiders first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Carr. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams from 19 yards away. And the Raiders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Carr will look to throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Popular down near the goal line, quick slam. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was. One of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. 
That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing his hurts. And it's caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Ready, set. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Oh, the sneak gets hurt. And I don't think he got in. The big bodies up front held him at the one. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Well, they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. Oh, he's burned down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. He needed two. He only got one on the sneak, and that's going to lead us to a fourth and one. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Golf has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten fights through it and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out a big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. first down hurts a handoff to sanders and he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. that play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it but still Gotta like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the dog ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short. That's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school. Smet trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. There he goes, left side. The 40. The 20.
EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. From the 10. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now a play fake. Wentz. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Wins to throw again. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They fake the give. Now wins. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. Another try after the first down sack. Wentz, a throw left side caught here by the tight end Bates. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. On play action, Wentz sliding out of the pocket. And that is incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave, and that gives you a little added pep. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hurts. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say no better sight, well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves.